In the last section on what I called on-page or in-page factors, we talked about a lot of different things that go into posts, images, descriptions, titles, the URL, all that good stuff. And I want to talk about the description in particular. Now, sometimes you refer to this as the meta description. These are the, uh, the two lines under all of these search results. I just did a search here for SEO. Um, this two line, about 155 character, string of words is called the meta description. The part in bright blue up at the top would be called the meta title in case you ever hear those terms. The meta description is particularly important because it determines click-through rate, meaning people do a search for something and they typically just look at the top five or so results, basically whatever they can see before they have to scroll down. And based on those two lines of text, they're going to figure out which one is most relevant to their search, which sounds most compelling. Now, the meta description doesn't technically have any ranking factor within the Google search results, meaning that Google doesn't look at it for keywords. It doesn't say, oh, this description is more compelling. Typically, Google just takes a piece of the text within one of your posts and displays it as the description. So even though you're picking the meta description for your post, Google's not always gonna take that. But just in case they do take your meta description, you wanna have something that's gonna make people click, right? You wanna make it just like you would make any headline, right? Because most people only read the headlines before they read stories to decide what they wanna read. And most people only read these two lines before they decide on clicking on something. So these two lines don't necessarily have any effect on the search rankings but they do affect click through it because people click on these and as we saw in the search metrics ranking factors click through rate is the most important factor within the search results and this is going to continue into 2015. so if people keep on clicking on your result and it's the number three result uh, you're eventually going to move up to number one this guy uh, john limbacher He's um, not, not very well known within the SEO world, but he wrote a, uh, a guest post where he talked about using the description as kind of a teaser to get people to click. Now, most people will write a description, it'll just be you know, a basic summary of their post, and Google will take the first 155 characters, like I said, and then put a little ellipsis here at the end. But what John Limbacher recommends doing is ending your description before Google would. So uh, the best way to improve your SEO ranking is this, and then dot, dot, dot. So you're cutting it off before Google would, and you're kind of luring people into clicking on it. It's almost like clickbait for your descriptions. And he says that he sees click-through rate for his uh, his websites when he does that go go through the roof for his words. Most SEO companies will recommend you do the 155, the full, you know, as many words as you can get in there, but you can also try just leaving people kind of hanging, trying to figure out what, what it is that uh, you're about to say, and then they'll click through, and then you end up getting uh, moved up in the rankings. So that's a good little strategy for writing meta descriptions is not to write uh, as much as you can.